Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick, Hannibal Season 2 winding down. This was uh, the penultimate episode of the season, episode 12, Tommy Wan, Alonzo Duraldi. William oh. Bibiani from Crave Online. Where did that come from? I don't know. I just felt like saying it. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> um, so this episode, uh, Hannibal is a bore. <laughs> Hannibal is a bore? Or maybe he's a javelina. I'm not sure. Oh, I thought you meant he was just, he was, no. what a dull dinner no, guest. No, 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 no. B-O-A-R. <laughs> yes. He's got the pig with the tusks and Indeed. the whole thing. Anyway, uh, oh my God. Um, of all of the, eh, I've had to do to watch this show, I did the most, eh, really? for this, this was one. the one? Oh, come on. Yes. I assume in the end with Mason yes. Berger's face bacon. Yes. Yeah, it was gross. <laughs> But you know what? They kept it tastefully hidden in the oh, darkness. Was, yes, no, no, no. I will grant the cinematography was very mm -hmm. it was good about keeping in the dark, but just knowing and hearing it. And, oh. We should do a video that's just our top ten ah, moments yeah, on no Hannibal. Kidding. I mean, no, yeah. I, Dave was laughing at me from the other room because I was just going, <laughs> oh, go, 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 oh, go, go, go. But you knew it was coming, right? I mean, you knew they had to get to this. This is what happens to Mason Virgin. I didn't read the book. So, yeah, but you, you know, saw Hannibal. You I, saw what happened to Gary Oldman's face. You know, he didn't just like know, accidentally do I that. I saw Hannibal and the only thing I remember is um, uh, uh, Ray Liotta eating his own brain. Spoilers. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, no no but like this was the the, the Verger story was one of sort of inevitable doom. Uh, yeah, no, no, it was clearly fun, it was fun watching uh, uh, Michael Pitt just show it just how much he kind of deserved it. Well, you know, sure. like yeah, if, if yeah. anyone has ever deserved <laughs> Hannibal Lecter's wrath, it's been Mason Virgin. Yeah, no, because yeah. he, because he's rude. He's uh, he's he's free range rude. He is. he is he is every the funniest scenes maybe in this entire series history is just Hannibal put like briefly putting up with Mason Verger's abuse of his office. You know, when 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 Virgil's like looking at Hannibal's sketches, going garbage. That's all right. And Hannibal's just like, yeah, that that the, the, the flinch of like, I'm going to no, 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 not no. Now. Hold it, yeah, yeah. later, later. <laughs> Um, oh, God, so funny. Uh, but this was an interesting episode because although it builds to a, a huge crescendo, a lot of the stuff in the first, like, half and two-thirds felt like, I'm not going to say it was filler or anything like that, but it felt like we were just sort of wrapping a few things up. We got uh, Bedelia DeMarie came back, and I was expecting a bit more of, like, maybe not a huge reveal, but I don't know, like, when we finally found out what happened between her and Hannibal all right. along, it was a little anticlimactic. Um, it was a little bit like no, I don't know. He, he, I mean, he influenced me, like he influenced Will. Ah, but the, the revelation that she killed someone that, 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 I, that he I choked really... on a tongue that was not attached. You know, I think that was kind of like okay. Well, look, that was gross. <laughs> but and, that, and don't get me wrong, that was neat. But at the same time, I sort of assumed that's kind of what happened anyway. Well, I, I mean, yes, to one extent, they are sort of that. This is preparing the chessboard for whatever the next sure. for for the the, the next checkmate. But in that, I think it was still really striking. Again, talking about the cinematography, you mm. know, the, the 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 way that her profile just sort of, almost sort of juts out into in a mm. void of nothing else. Like, like, like it's just almost a free floating head. It's, yeah, it's surrounded by such darkness. Well, there is no bad angle of Gillian Anderson's yeah, face. Yeah, that certainly yeah. helps. Yeah. Um, no, I was I, I was riveted to all of it. I just want to say <laughs> uh, kudos to to Winston. Yes. Winston the dog. Winston Always the dog. A champ. The only dog who's just like, you know what? I'm not playing this. Say no to peer pressure. And All right. Because the cheeks are the tastiest part. You as, know. as is my understanding yes. as well. But uh, no, like, Will comes home and there's Winston and he just sort of like, you will not just fucking believe what's happening yeah. inside right I'm, now. Th this this is, is not, I had nothing to do I with this. I told them no. Let me just say up front, uh, yeah. I was and not just, part of this. But you go through the door and yeah. you deal with it. You Winston know? is the alpha um, dog. It's interesting that, um, that you know, the, the Hannibal has had to sort of dance around things for so long. You can tell that there's a certain relief that he can now actually have whole conversations with Will mm -hmm. about eating people. But at the same time, <laughs> Will says he's never said anything actionable. Well, but, he's right. never said anything that, like, if you look at it outside of context, sure. that specific quote yeah. is damning. No, no, no. There's, yeah, there's no, yeah. nothing. It's gets always said, hypothetical. Nothing gets said into the carnation that they can yeah. be <laughs> taken to trial. <laughs> but just, but the idea that he's that, that there's a level of subterfuge that's been removed that they can have mm. somewhat more frank conversations, even if he's never he's he's too cagey to to uh, indemnify himself. Yeah. Now, I, do we do we think that Bedelia is correct in saying in, in thinking that Hannibal is Still one step ahead of everybody, or 
I don't is, know. Is, 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 is he successfully being trapped, or is he, does he just want them to think that he's successfully being trapped? I think Hannibal, if nothing else, I think Hannibal wants to not be trapped. I think he wants what's going on with Will. And even when Will actually just says, yeah, I totally told Mason Virgin to kill you, Hannibal's like, well, I've done that too. Mm. You know, like there's sort of like he's, I, I don't know, I feel like he feels a rapport. We've all been there. And I don't know, maybe, but he can't be so infallible he can never be caught because we know he's eventually caught. Right. And it's it's as Bedelia says, it's got to be whimsy. His downfall shall be whimsy. Yeah, that's the first time that word's ever made me cringe. <laughs> well, like, unless we're talking about like certain Sundance right. movies, but his, I guess. You know, his, Hannibal's ego is an enormous part sure. of, of who he is and why he does everything he does. He wants to feel like he's ahead of everyone and making him feel that way has been the only way, even in the various other incarnations that anyone's ever gotten ahead of him was mm. to play to uh, just sort of just sort of patting him on the head right. and going you know oh I was you were so right about everything <laughs> can we talk about ninja Hannibal please that whole when Hannibal <laughs> sweeps the leg whoa what was th that's and that is I, I almost he's love got that. an he's got an exacto knife that is this big but he will fuck you up oh yeah just right <laughs> in that artery there yeah, yeah no that's uh. that's awesome but the, it's, it's when Hannibal like literally drops to the ground and sweeps the leg that's like half hilarious and half totally awesome, but mostly hilarious. I feel like every time they do something like that, like if you remember that one serial killer kung fu fight from season one, mm. which was just kind of ridiculous, but again, totally awesome, I, that that feels like Hannibal Rising sneaking into the text <laughs> again. That's from Hannibal's samurai training. Right, well, if there, you there, there is an undercurrent of do not make me rip these trousers, because <laughs> they cost $600. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I I bought it though. You no, know, it's like fun, I, yeah. it's like I, it's like okay, look, the guy can play the harpsichord, and you know, there's exquisite calligraphy on his recipe mm -hmm. cards, and he's a gourmand, and yeah. he's an artist. Sure, yes, he is also a martial artist. I'm and, gonna find you know, out one uh, thing he's bad at. Just one thing that's just like he's just like it's just sort of embarrassing for him. Maybe he you can know, like dribble a basketball. Yeah, or he doesn't know how to use a microwave. There you, know? you go. <laughs> that would be funny. He put tinfoil in there once, and he was like, "Never again." No, I'm done with the science of it. Toaster oven all around, <laughs> every every single time. Uh, Will's plan goes pretty pretty like Will's plan was to get. Uh, Hannibal and Virgil together. Hannibal's gonna try to kill Virgil. I'll be there to see it, and maybe I'll be a little too late, but uh -huh. like, I'll be able to see it and be able to catch Hannibal. Will just got knocked out. <laughs> Like a dumbass. True, but he, he did well. Uh, yeah, like I, I dumbass. Guess, he just didn't plan on that. Right, it's just sort of no, like, no, no. It's just sort of like, dang it. And now, and the, what he does witness is Berger cutting up his own face and feeding the dogs, and then yeah. Berger later not wanting to pin that on Hannibal I for reasons like of pride or whatever. I feel like all of this is enough to, if not. It, you know, convict Hannibal of being a serial killer. Pull his license. Pull his <laughs> license. A therapist. Get him, like, throw him into, like, you know, uh, throw him into a psychiatric institute or something. Mm. There is, I feel like, I don't know, it's almost like catching uh, uh, Al Capone on income tax evasion. Right, yeah, There's what, a part of me that's just like, let's just get, let's just get him off the street. It'll do. You know, <laughs> whatever. Whatever we can do. So, oh, but, I, and, but, you know, I, I try not to watch the teaser for the next episode, but at least now we know we are coming back around to episode Episode one, we are definitely the good. big fight finally goes down. And I, I'll say this right now for those of you who have seen or haven't seen, the, the, the one word I'm going to say is jackable. Jackable <laughs> is the scariest image I've ever seen on the that show. That was pretty creepy. That yeah. freaked me the hell out. I am looking forward to this next episode. Uh, this episode ends with Will basically convincing Hannibal to come clean to Jack. Mm. Now, I imagine... What he mean? What Hannibal is thinking is, I'll give him a sense of closure, and then I'll murder him because right. of reasons. The question is, how is he going to come clean to him? And I still think the best way to do that would be to serve Jack his own wife. Ugh. I still think that would be a great way to end the season. I think that would be repellent and grotesque and sad. And you know, here's the thing: I imagine Jack is thinking once we finally figure out, you know, have something to do to to get Hannibal finally, like we can arrest him. I'll arrest him. But as we saw at the beginning of the season, it's a fist fight to end all fist fights. Yeah. How did he piss Jack off that bad? You know, because if we remember, like at the beginning, Hannibal wasn't. Hannibal didn't start it. Hannibal didn't start the actual fight fight. Right, right, right. What was it? And I think that might that, be it. That, that may That's well my come theory. Back. Here's the theory. My, my other question for Jack is, why are you eating that aspic? 
when you don't know where that came from. I <laughs> that who's, is a, whose jaw is getting boiled for that marrow? I mean, Do we, we know? know it's fun. Well, it was like a cow. So like we we Are saw we that. Sure? I, was, I saw the cow. Okay. I saw the cow. I just Jack saw, I, saw the cow. I saw a big jaw, I'm, and I just thought maybe it's Martha Ray. I don't know. I am never okay, eating anything at Hannibal's house unless I brought it myself. Or, or it's a salad. Or it's a salad. Or again, if it's the yeah. Hamoni Barico where the big leg is there on the yeah, you know it's thing, pretty, and you, you either you, killed like a really big guy yeah, or like you're you pretty know, sure like, that haunch once belonged yeah. to yeah. Yeah. No, I don't know, and it just looked like a grotesque dish to begin with. Actually, I don't know. Like I yeah, want to see, I, I want to eat Jello with fish. I don't in want it. whole fish in a clear bubble. No, yeah, yeah, no, that's, thank you. Yeah, sir. even if it's not cannibalism. Yeah. Uh, but I, oh. I, I did want to see that one bit because he puts the Jello in a bowl and like a mold, mm -hmm. puts it in the fridge, takes it out of the fridge, and then he puts it upside down, and then he's gonna take with it a off. Flourish. Yeah, he takes it with the flourish. I kind of wish I could see him just go. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Have it come uh. out in two pieces. Yeah. That, that happens to me when I make pound cake all the time. It's like, that's no Hannibal. It's always perfect. Um, and of course, let's not forget the, the our opening image of the, or not opening image, but just the, the, the guy getting pulled out of the pig thing with uh, his entire half torso. It's quite gross. Missing, yeah. It's quite gross, actually. Yeah. That yeah. wasn't, uh, that's, a, that's a bad way to go. But that really, that pales next to the cutting off the cheek. I, I had forgotten that, that by the, the time thing. we got to that point of the episode. It was, that's that was, the thing. That was just a walk in the park. So mm -hmm. yeah, one more episode. This season's been amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan will be back next week. Maybe a special guest? Maybe. Come back and join us. Thanks.